Turning to the weather now, a bit muggy and rainy to start our Saturday. Yeah. Womp womp, unfortunately. <laughs> it is, it's mosquito weather. I know, right? You know, it's, it's never when, good. It, the summertime, muggy, mm -hmm. steamy. It's, you know, we think it's ideal. Just annoying little mosquitoes buzzing around, but the good news, it's only going to be one day this weekend that we have this kind of dreary and damp and cloudy weather because by Sunday, high pressure moves in and it's going to be pretty nice to wrap the weekend up. Our CBS 3 Eyewitness Weather Watchers this morning talking to us about what's going on in their backyards, including some of that precipitation that we've been seeing. So let's take a look at those rain amounts that we've seen across the Delaware Valley and up to the Lehigh Valley. That's our winner this morning. That's Charles's house up in Bath. He's got just shy of three quarters of an inch of rain for uh, up him just a little bit north of the city. The rest of the lot of our weather watchers here around a tenth of an inch or so for John and Tabernacle. And then as you head back down into Cherry Hill as well, just not even a tenth of an inch. Dolores in northern Delaware, she's looking at just about one point uh, point one six inches of rain for her as well. So it hasn't been a soaker of a morning so far, but it has been cloudy and just wanted to show you this great picture from Lou this morning up in the Eaglesville area. He just got a brand new drone. Loves sending us some pictures. It was a cloudy start to the day for him north of the city and it's been cloudy for a lot of us across the Delaware Valley to start out the day as well. Storm scan three shows a lot of the precipitation is south of Philly at this point. That's been our theme for most of uh, the show hours from about five, six and now getting close to seven o'clock. Most of the precipitation has stayed south of Philadelphia. Before that, though, in the two, three o'clock time frame, we were seeing some shower activity across the metro area. Overall, we were still watching a small area of precipitation that was trying to come out of northeastern Maryland, pushing into Lancaster and Chester counties. That's kind of already fallen apart. So while we could still see maybe a light shower in the Philadelphia area, again, that main precipitation that we were watching is not really too much that we need to be concerned with. Storm scan three takes us down into southern Delaware. A thunderstorm down here in between Rehoboth and Bethany beaches. Still packing a little bit of a punch, maybe a rumble of thunder here or there, a small chance for some gusty winds. And of course, again, that moderate to even at times heavy rainfall. But besides this thunderstorm, it's just light and scattered precipitation to say the least across a lot of South Jersey at this point. Some light showers along Route 9 from Atlantic City back down towards Cape May and towards the beach too. So if you're waking up areas like Avalon, Stone Harbor, back towards Wildwood, it is a wet start to the day but it will be getting a little bit better maybe at times here this morning before another round of some showers can move in later on in the afternoon and tonight. It's a split weekend for us. Area of low pressure to the north, cold front draped down to the south. It pushes through as we go through the nighttime hours tonight, and then that allows high pressure to move in for our Sunday, and it will look to stick around as we head into Monday as well. So that's some good news for us as we start out our work week. What we're expecting so for our, our Saturday showers is these light showers here early on on our Saturday most of them are going to wrap up here relatively soon, leaving us with just some humid conditions through the afternoon hours. Now, a pop up thunderstorm is not completely ruled out in the afternoon because it is just going to be so humid out there. And if you do get stuck in one of those afternoon pop up thunderstorms, a locally heavy downpour is not out of the question either. Again, the keywords here are local and pop up. They're not going to be widespread. It's not going to be something that's going to be a torrential downpour for the entire day. It's just if you do happen to get stuck in maybe one of those afternoon thunderstorms, it could just pose a probable a problem for maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes tops, and then it will be moving along. 81 degrees for our high temperature today. Again, those light showers are out there, cloudy skies and an afternoon rumble of thunder, a possibility. 85 though with clearing skies on Sunday, so a pretty good end to our weekend. A real Really nice Monday for us. Sunshine out there, 86 degrees. Looks like the humidity not too bad either. By the time we get into Tuesday, 84. Again, a few clouds start to roll back in, and Janet looks like uh, maybe another chance for some nicer weather there as we head into Wednesday, but a high of 88. So it gets a little bit warmer in the middle of the week. Okay.